Today we're going to see if an AI powered knowledge base can go from absolutely zero to answering developer questions in under 10 minutes. And yes, we're doing it live. So every click, every typo and every face palm stays in. The star of the show is Document 360's Edit AI. And by the end of the video, you'll know whether this can replace hours of support doc writing. Quick heads up, this video is a paid collaboration with Document360. Alright, so why would you even care? Let's paint the problem first. Tribal knowledge everywhere, Slack pings at 11pm and the same questions answered a hundred times. That chaos bleeds money and developer sanity. Document 360 promises a single public hub that Eddy AI can index and turn into instant context aware answers for users and teammates. So in theory, fewer tickets, faster onboarding and yes, happier devs. So here's the plan for the next few minutes. First, spin up a brand new project. Second, bulk import a couple of files from my botpress repo and three flip the switch on edit ai and hit it with real questions if anything breaks you'll see it live if you're going to document360.com you'll be landing on this beautiful landing page where you can explore their basic features but also you can see that they are trusted by some Pretty big clients. I don't know if you've ever been to McDonald's. But if we head into the pricing page, you can see that all plans are custom to your use case. But they also have a free trial. So once you've created your account, you can go ahead and log in. So now that I'm logged in, I'm going to select the software slash technical documentation. So basically the developer docs get started. Select the type of content, process documentation, I'm gonna skip this step, brand guidelines, I'm gonna upload my own logo, brand color, And now it's creating a project and this is where the one take begins. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to hit create and I'm going to article and import document. I'm going to drag in a doc file that I have, um, process documentation, yeah, um, and hit import and done. And now I can see that I have my, my documentation here. It's set to draft. Um, I can make sure it's in review or publish. So I'm just going to go ahead and add my other documents. And also keep in mind that this is actually my first time ever using this software. So um, I'm hoping that I will be learning at the same time as you do. So importing and my final one. Whoops. There we have it. Import. This. I can go ahead and delete. And now I have my process documentation and I have all my docs in here. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to hit publish and I'm going to publish all of these articles. So on, on publish all changes will be public. I will set a yes. I will publish them all. I think I'm doing this the right way by the way. Then I'm going to hit open site. So welcome to engage growth project landing page. So we can go to documentation. Here I have my 
chat so I can see all of my documentation in here and I have my logo up here and everything but if I go to the left here and hit this button it will show me widget now we're just done add one so I'm going to hit add a widget we can see here we just select type widget or chatbot I'm gonna select chatbot I'll have it here or if I have a widget it's going to show up in here but I'm going to select chatbot I can style it um, I'm gonna change the icon to my own logo I'm going to upload one of my logos I'm gonna upload it then I'm going to go back into the widget and I'm going to select my hit edit and I will change the icon upload an image I'm going to select this there we have it looks beautiful and if I want to upload either I can just have this so basically copy paste this JavaScript code but if I go to my site I can search something and I'm going to ask a few questions so first things first I'm going to add where can I I'm going to ask Eddie and here he answers and he also references to a source where I where I can come if I click the link and it says build a FAQ bot in Botpress Cloud and then I can read my documentation and was this article helpful yes or no I'm going to select yes enter your feedback no and I will um, say answered my question hit submit very cool um, but I can also continue my conversation so I can maybe say shows logs Eddie is working and then we have we get an answer from the knowledge base source articles here you can see introduction to Postgres cloud but also if I go to search I type in my third question where do I embed widget code you can also see here um, that we get that we get articles where it references so here publish and embed the bot you can see here that it references the text document directly the really cool thing is that they have a site editor where we can basically edit the site that I just showed you so theme we can select light only just because we have my light logo and colors brand color I will select um, kind of the same bluish color that I use hyperlink industry standard brand color I'm gonna use my brand color um, article font I'm gonna maybe select this one and we have all this and it's save you can see that it changed its white color in the left corner where you can customize your site how you want it so you start in the site header and footer you can modify how much you want and you also have custom coded sections where you can preview but this is yeah you have coded this by yourself um, but you can also change the pages and all that stuff so home pages you can select your hero section if I want to edit maybe the background color, I can select a cool looking gradient. Maybe like that. Uh, alignment left, center, right. I don't know. But you can also like click the text and edit. So um, welcome to engage 
growth you can change text color or whatever um you have all your buttons all of this stuff you can click input box button you know and this here is a button so you can also edit like the urls and all other stuff you can edit all your other sections save you can publish publish like v1 I was published the site if I go in here now you can see that it has changed coming into the dashboard by pressing the top left button you can see your articles published articles and how many you have drafts and this is like last week last month custom date and here you have your performance so we have four reads overall and we have dislikes and likes so you have no dislikes and a lot of likes so if we hover this you can see that I have one like I don't have any dislikes and four overall views but this is only my contribution and you can also hit overview and here you can see based on everyone and this is also where you can manage your team so let's say you have multiple devs and each dev is responsible for like the documentation for their own feature you can manage your team and here you can add um, new people and change the role and scope and all of that nice stuff and to the left you can also see that we have feedback manager where you can see ADII and articles article feedback you're going to be able to see all of your feedback that you get so if I was to ask ask a question now and then add a comment it will be able to be viewed in here and you also have your insights um, which is basically your analytics so yeah and this is just placeholders for now ADAI you can see queries and conversations readers team accounts everything like that so for you automation enthusiasts you can see that document 360 is also available with make so if you scroll down you can see the document 360 integrations and we have all of the modules so append text create an article find a document make an api call that and watch new articles so we have those five here so yeah you're pretty much covered on all fronts for your automation needs how about the pros and cons first things first is very user friendly it took me like 10 minutes to figure out the platform and you get a fully functioning landing page um, so you basically get a landing page that you can connect to your existing website or you have a completely new landing page where you can add your own domains and all of that good stuff and you get very quick ai answers from eddy very good uh, and you get you get the options to capture a lot of feedbacks from both your website visitors or your devs and all of that good stuff it has a very friendly api and a make integration and i think it, they're also on sapier if i'm not mistaken and slick analytics tab but the cons so it adds uh, token usage to the cost pricing is modular to offer a free trial but your plan is going to be completely different to other people's plans so that is something to keep in mind but the team over at document 360 is very helpful and they will guide you through the process <laughs>